them and handed it over to the Japanese who negotiated for us and eventually set us free. An armistice has at last stopped the desperate war in the Grand Chaco, which the unfortunate combatants call the Green Hell. For three years, the little South American republics of Paraguay and Bolivia have fought for possession of this fever-stricken jungle area, about the size of England, which lies in the heart of South America. Paraguay was outnumbered four to one in manpower, and her troops started the war not only without boots, but almost without arms. Bolivia's difficulty was transport. Her army mainly consisted of Indians from the mountains, unused to the swampy jungle. Here is a general in council with his officers. The Bolivian army possessed 30 aeroplanes, whereas Paraguay had none. Artillery and machine guns could do little but fire blindly into the all but impenetrable jungle. It was mostly a murderous war of ambush and outpost work with close on 100,000 casualties, though at no time did the total troops engaged number much more than that figure. To spare the worst wounded the generally fatal torture of transport on muleback over the rough tracks, they were sometimes flown to hospital. In the end, Paraguay had the best of it, and a truce for peace negotiations has been arranged at Buenos Aires.